Hey guys, and welcome to Doing Things Dan's Way. So here in the Highlander life, uh, I have my Highlander. Uh, the problem is, even though this came with a factory hitch, as you can see here, it did not come with anything more than a four pin connector, which is a real bummer, because well, I'd love to be able to tow my trailer like you can see here. So I had to go through a process. I had to go to a process of buying the connector and getting that installed, and I had to also route all the cable and get this thing upgraded to a seven pin connector. So let's jump into the parts needed to do that. Uh, the Highlander, as you can see, comes with a standard uh, four or five pin uh, connector, which has brakes and turn signals, uh, stoplight, you know, and ground, but it does not have power and it does not have a signal for controlling brakes. So this connector is a standard connector you see on any trailer, uh, any camper RV trailer, uh, and this is a required upgrade. Now, to install this, the other key thing we have to do is we have to add a power connection, and this needs to be something that can charge the battery on the trailer. And realize that's you know that's a 30 amp cable, so we have a wire that's appropriate for that, and we have a breaker, and we're going to have to run a wire from the, the hitch where this guy's going to be, all the way up to the battery uh, through a breaker that we have to add ourselves. So unfortunately, the Highlander, as far as I can tell, does not have any of this wiring uh, pre-installed or available. And so we're going to have to run this wire uh, ourselves. So this video will be about uh, how to mount this guy and as well as how to, uh, to run that power cord, mount a breaker, and install it on the battery. So what's in the bag? Let's take a look. So what we have here is we have a harness, and in this case, this is a standard seven pin trailer connector. And this is going to plug into the existing connector. So what we're gonna do is take off the old connector that's there mounted on the back of the trailer, mount this into it, tuck this up behind. And then obviously we have some extra connections we still have to make. So the blue wire goes to your brake controller if you're installing a brake controller. Uh, the black wire is a, is a 12 volt lead that needs to come from all the way up from the battery through a 30 amp um, a breaker. According to the directions, <laughs> uh, the yellow is the backup lights, which apparently is not part of the standard seven pin connector. And let's see what's left here. White, this is ground, which is gonna to connect to the chassis uh, back there in the bumper area. And finally, we have a nice bag of the brackets and all the hardware to mount this. This is a eight millimeter. So now that I've taken this off, my next step is decide which way to mount this guy. So I'm thinking this looks the nicest. What I'm realizing though is the holes don't quite line up. So because the holes don't totally line up, I'm gonna have to remount one of the holes. Here you can see here's the trailer connector and here is our joint and this is going off to this is going up to the front of the car so we have these three connections to make here so we have ground we have the backup lights we have the brake controller and we have tool power so this is the guide that we need to route So from here, I ran it up and over the suspension and it came back right here, came back down and goes into zip tied to the fuel line. Yeah, that's the brake line. 
And then I ran it behind this whole panel all the way down. So up under this panel the whole way. And then here, you can see where I ran a series of clamps to hold it in place. And going up that way. In the end, it all looks very clean. Okay, so this is where I ran the feed wire, which comes down here. Okay, you can see that was quite a process. Uh, getting this mounted was probably the easiest step and routing all the wires all the way to the back, that was certainly the hard part of this. Uh, uh, getting that cable pulled through, especially over the suspension in the rear was probably the hardest part. Actually, the hardest part was figuring out what the route was going to be. And you can see and just use what I did because it worked really well. And I feel like the, the result is a pretty clean install. That gets us to the point of having a seven pin connector with no brake wire connected. Now, of course you could run a, an additional wire up front or use one of the extra wires in that cable we, that, that you saw me using there um, and use that as the brake uh, function itself if you wanted to do a hard install. What I've chosen to do is to use a Prodigy brake controller. So this is the wireless Prodigy brake control. All you do is plug this into the cigarette lighter of the car, connect your trailer, it has to have the 30 pin or the 30 amp uh, you know, power the seven pin connector on it. Uh, and this gives you a wireless connection, both for the settings as well as manual control of the brakes. I will have a link in the description below to where you can find uh, this brake controller. The beauty is the trailer can be towed by anybody and all they need to do is plug this in. And this is already tuned to the way the tires grip the, uh, the road. So you don't have to adjust the, the brake controller for the vehicle, it's already part of the system itself. So hit up that link if you're interested in this guy. So that's about it guys. I, I hope this gives you some hope that it's not too crazy hard to do this. Hit up the links here for both a playlist of trailer related videos as well as the Highlander Life series where I do a bunch of modifications to the Highlander. So whatever you're interested in, go for it. Until next time guys, be blessed.